Greetings everyone! Thank you for your interest in our service for your shipping needs. This video is intended to provide a visual and easy to use manual of our latest version of onboard tool Captain Tosca. After watching this video you can find more information on our detailed manual provided with your copy. Kindly notice that you can also select in any section of the video you wish to re-watch for detailed instructions. Our program can be provided either from a DVD copy or through an executable file that can be shared with you online. Activation of the program is very easy and should you need any further clarification, please contact our DOSCA support team at dosca-support at c.wni.com. After installing successfully Captain DOSCA, it is important to set up our program according to your vessel particulars. Please go to the Start menu of your PC and through the Search menu, please type Reset DOSCA and run the application. On the Ship Characteristics tab, please click on the Settings button and then you can fill in all of your vessel particulars. Select your ship type, length and breadth, RPM and MCR, as well as some calibration factors as long as they are essential. I kindly remind you that you can always contact our DOSCA support team for more information. Click on Apply button and close Reset DOSCA application. You need to shut down DOSCA if it has been opened already and your vessel has been set up correctly. Once you open Captain DOSCA, it is essential to update your weather data. On the Weather Information tab in the up left corner of your screen, click on the Weather Request option on the bottom. Now you can select between two weather delivery options either one-time weather delivery or to have a continuous and scheduled weather update delivery which we highly recommend. It is better to select scheduled delivery for the area that your next voyage is about to be commenced. If you click on the scheduled delivery then you can select the period in which you will receive our weather updates, the daily frequency of our weather updates and under which UTC time you want it to be delivered. If you want more information about the weather data you can receive, please click on the specification of weather forecast link below. Afterwards click Next and you can select from the map the area that you want our weather data to be updated and displayed. You can zoom in out by using the bar on the right and you can also input your coordinates. Please proceed to the next step. On our final step, you can select which weather elements and variables you want to receive, for how many days and the analysis of each weather element. Kindly note that in order to avoid huge SATCOM traffic, there is a limitation on the weather data size and the most preferable is up to 3 megabytes. We have also some default options on the top depending on your needs. After all is completed, please click Finish. We have two options to finalize your request. Best option is to select method 2. Copy the file into your PC clipper and then paste it at your mail account and send it to dosca at c.wni.com. You can close the window and very soon you will receive a reply from our support team with the weather data you have selected. After you have received the latest weather update, it is important to have a short overview of the interface of our software. Please open Captain Doska. On your main screen you can see the worldwide map. We will split and explain our menu into three different categories. First of all, we have the grey line on the top. Here you can select the option of setting up your next voyage, which we will explain later, the no-go areas, the computing and optimization of your planning route, spot weather buttons and settings. On the left we have the main interface showing all available options. You can choose different layout options, then different map options along with port, sea, or land visibility and pilot stations. Next, we have the voyage plan menu when you can have more information once you set up a new voyage such as snapshot of the voyage which we will also explain later. 
Next, we have the weather information, where we have all the weather elements available for you to select and be displayed on the map, like wind, significant weight, currents, etc. Finally, we have other useful information, such as echo zones, load zones and no-go areas, if you have selected any. Below the grey top line, we have a time bar when you can simulate and go ahead on time to check weather forecast and how the vessel simulates on your selected voyage. Next to the bar, there is an option on the pace of your voyage with different hour intervals. Now we will set up our first voyage. Go to the top grey line and select Voyage. A new pop-up window appears named Voyage List. Please select New. Then it's time to set up and fill in our next voyage. For the sake of this demonstration, we will select a Pacific Crossing voyage from Japan to United States. On the Departure option, you can select a port from our list or input manually the coordinates and ETD. Next, you have to input the cargo weight of your leg and the sailing draft. Please press the connecting button. That allows our system to connect the two ports throughout a straight line, so then we can proceed with the simulation. Kindly wait until it's finished. After the connection is completed, then we can proceed with the optimization. Please press the blue C button on the top right corner. A new window appears when you can fill the following. Computing type, either least time or least fuel, the simulation type and finally the desired RPM. You have the option to select the hazard values for wind and wave. Then select computing. Please wait while our system is calculating and finding all alternatives based on our weather data for the safest route and according to your plans. A new loading screen appears below and after it's completed, please press done. Orange line represents our suggested route. It's better to open the voyage plan menu on the left and select voyage snapshot. Also, open the plan list so you can check all important information such as total consumption, duration of the voyage, EE, OI emissions, etc. Now we can run the simulation on the time bar on the top with the play button and check how the vessel will be affected throughout the sailing. Voyage snapshots display how weather changes on every waypoint and on the map you can see the weather changing throughout time. There are several types of simulations you can apply. Going through the simulation controller, you can select different types such as fixed overground speed, fixed RPM, etc. In case you wish to further adjust your route and set fixed waypoints, please notice the following instructions. Go to the voyage plan list and select your desired route. Double-click on it, a new tab appears on the Voyage Plan List menu below and from there you can edit, adjust and insert new waypoints. You can add a new waypoint by selecting on from the list and press the Insert Waypoint button. Then the new waypoint appears below the pre-selected one. If you click on a certain waypoint, you can set it as the starting waypoint, fixed waypoint or ending waypoint. You can also click in any waypoint on the projected route on the map and edit it accordingly, changing overground speed or RPM. After you have finished editing, you can run the optimization button again 
and check the new results. Captain Tosca is compatible with most of Actis brands. Routes can be shared between Captain Tosca and Actis through a flash drive. Please select your route from the Voyage Plan list and right click on it. Then select Send Export and you can find the list of available Actis brands. Tokyo Keiki provides universal Actis formats file. Select your desired brand and save the file to your flash drive. You can also import a route already created on your Actis by selecting the Import button. Finally, you can save your route to Captain Doska for future reference and use. Captain Doska has several extra functions providing you further information about weather on the spot, voyage conditions, etc. We will describe a few of them below, but we remain at your disposal for further clarifications. Spot weather condition. First of all, you can use the Spot Weather Condition tab from the Weather Information menu and check any weather data you want from anywhere projected in the map, just by rolling over your mouse cursor. You can further check the forecasted weather if you drag the time bar on the top at your desired time. Voyage Snapshot. Furthermore, you can have the Voyage Snapshot from the Voyage Plan menu when you can check vessel's performance and weather conditions throughout the voyage as the route is optimized. Voyage Detail Graph In order to check weather conditions on track in more detail, you can select Voyage Detail Graph and a new tab appears below on the Voyage Plan list. Then, all the weather graphs appear by showing wave, wind, currents, etc. and how they are projected in time. Progressive the time bar on the top shows how vessel will be affected. Heavy rolling risk monitoring. Last, there is also one very important functionality of Captain Doska, the heavy rolling risk. Please select it from the voyage plan menu, fill in the necessary information and run the simulation button. As vessel is steaming, you can check how the parametric and synchronous rolling affect. If your vessel is receiving optimized routing from our company, you can easily import our suggested OSR route, which we provide you frequently into your Captain Doska system. Then our optimized route is automatically imported and displayed on your voyage plan list. Thank you very much for your attention in this explanatory video. Should you need any further information or clarification, you can contact us anytime.